people this is your girl Shaquana coming to you loud live in the color hey my people hey my people good morning good morning good morning i hope everybody having a wonderful morning thank you for coming back to my channel thank you for liking commenting subscribing give me thumbs up thumbs down welcome to my new subscribers i appreciate you for coming to my channel subscribing thank you so very much thank you for commenting liking give me thumbs up thumbs down to the ones that have not decided to subscribe to the channel what are you waiting on what you waiting on come on okay y'all um i know that we are waiting for the election results no we are and this video is late i've been trying to get out my other videos but this video is really late I know that y'all have seen the picture going around of Lil Wayne shaking hands with Donald Trump. Um, I am not surprised. I have never, I was never surprised about anything this man has ever done. Um, he talked disrespectfully about the Black Lives Matter movement. So when he sat down to talk to Donald Trump, y'all, I was not surprised at all. I have never been surprised by nothing this black man has ever done, has ever said when it went against us, okay? He do not think that what's going on in the world affects him and that's a problem he thinks that just because he rich white people especially I me mean, racist white people he think he thinks racist white people he thinks racist cops won't touch him because they let him make money in america Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. That's the dumbest logic I have ever heard in my life. Uh, I just don't understand him. I don't understand why he felt the need to sit down and have a conversation with Donald Trump. He has seen the things Donald Trump has done. He has heard the things that Donald Trump has done. These black celebrities that sit down with this man, y'all get taken advantage of. Look at Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey went and sat down with the man. What was the point of you going to sit down with him? Ice Cube. Everybody want to take up for Ice Cube. Everybody want to say that he's the OG. Yeah, he's an OG in the rap game. He's an OG in the hip-hop world. But you sat down with Agent Orange. I mean, Donald Trump. I can't say, well, I can say Agent Orange. But look, y'all, Ice Cube sat down with Agent Orange, okay? And laid out his whole entire plan. Laid out the whole plan. To this man. Do you know this man. Took credit. For, for, for Ice Cube's idea. Yeah. He used you. For what you had. He used you. He came up with this so-called diamond plan. And it had some of your ideas in it, Cube. He didn't give you credit for it. He took the credit for it. He used you. And then they come, come, then come to find out, y'all, Ice Cube could have gotten on a live Zoom meeting. And talk to Kamala Harris. 
Kamala Harris. I'm sorry, my sister. He could have sat down and talked to Kamala Harris with other people that were talking to her as well. He could have given his input. He could have listened to other people as well. He wanted to be the only one to have a sit down with her and, and lay out his plan. He was only thinking about himself. He was thinking about himself, y'all. He was not thinking about the people. Okay? But I digress. Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne still uses the excuse of a white cop saved his life. First of all, he need to stop using that excuse to justify his bigotry, his dumbness, his ignorance for, you know, what's going on. He was a kid playing around with a gun. He got shot. Somebody called the cops. A police officer came and saved your life. This cop did what he was supposed to do. He was supposed to save your life. He wasn't supposed to let you die. He was supposed to save your life. He did what the cops should be doing today. And your ignorant behind shouldn't have been playing with a gun when you was a kid in the first place. Why are you playing with a gun as a kid? Why? Why are you playing with a gun as a kid? You shot yourself playing with a gun. Stop using your that stop using that excuse that you got shot and a cop saved your life. Man, don't nobody care about that no more. You was playing with a daggone gun as a kid. That's no excuse for you to be thumbing your nose up at what's going on in America right now. There's no excuse for that. There is no rhyme or reason for you to keep using that experience to put on blinders. That's no excuse. That is no excuse for you to even meet with this man. This man used you as a photo op. This man didn't even know what to say about you. This man don't know you. Y'all need to stop going to sit down with this man. This man don't know y'all. He don't care about y'all. And now look, we are in the middle of Waiting to see who's going to be our next president. And a lot of y'all that went to go see Agent Orange, y'all got egg on your face. You got egg on your face because you see that this man is losing. Now you want to come back. You want to crawl on back. Nah, go on, go on, go on, go to his picnic. Don't come over here. Go on over there to his little picnic. That's where you want to be. Go on ahead and go on over there. Go on ahead and go on, go on, go on ahead and go on, on over. Go on, on over to the picnic at Donald Trump's house with his family. You ain't welcome over here. Sorry. What what you went to go see this man for? What did you go see this man for? This, this man has used you for a photo op and you let him use you. You let him. You let him. I'm not surprised, y'all. I hope that y'all are not. I hope that y'all, when y'all saw this on social media, I hope that you were not surprised. That this man used, no, that this man went to go see Agent Orange. I hope y'all was not surprised. I hope you wasn't, because I wasn't at all.
This is the type of stuff that Lil Wayne does. But y'all comment down below and tell me what you think. And in the meantime and in between time, make sure you give me those big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell twice to be notified. If you an old subscriber, make sure your notifications are on. Share my videos. Like I always say, God only gives you one life, y'all. Please live it. Mwah. Bye. Thank you.